Okay, I uh, went ahead and did a, an electronic circuit to run this uh, toothpick motor with. And um, I've been working a lot with this reed switch with the choke and the bright neon light. And I can't get that to go into an oscillation like I like it with any kind of electronic circuit. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. But anyway, I went uh, back to just an air core just to try this motor out. And I had to go to Neo Magnets on the rotor here, but it is the toothpicks with the paper straw and, of course, the paper base. This is the circuit. It's that complementary transistor circuit. I think I have this drawn right. If not, call me on it, and I'll change the in the description. But as I recall, this is how it works here. Um, the uh, rotor is uh, north-facing, both sides. Um, Coil is uh, 34 gauge, 50 ohms. I'm using a 10K resistor basically to feed it with. And then uh, it triggers and the, the circuit goes around like this. On the LED, the uh, flyback diode, instead of going across the coil, I'm taking it down to ground here. Um, if I do it this way, it goes into self-oscillation, which I can't use. <laughs> so I, I put it this way on that. But I think this is drawn right. If not... Um, Call me on it and I'll change it in the description. But uh, it's this complementary uh, dad have circuit simplified that I've used for years and years on lots of motors. But let me show you how this works here. As soon as this goes around here, it's going to trigger the circuit. And now the circuit's being triggered by that magnet going by that fine wire coil. And that's how that works. Uh, the uh, little capacitor is. Um, 2.7 volt, 3.3 farads uh, filled up with about uh, 2 volts here. It runs for, I don't know, 10 minutes on that. Nothing to write home about. Um, this one here, like I say, is the one that I'm most interested in because it's got that choke, that big, uh, big old choke that makes the neon light up. And I've been trying to figure out a way to make an electronic circuit to make this happen. I'll show you. See that thing? And I, I can't seem to get a circuit like that to fire that thing there, which is what I would really like to do. Anyway, that's the latest for today. This is this uh, electronic pulse motor driving a toothpick with a rotor on it. And I've 3D printed the cube in the middle. Uh, there's those... Uh, weaker magnets down in the slot and then you have to put the neos on top of that to be able to get enough juice to trigger the coil and then once that gets going you can get it to go here you have to have enough current to trigger the circuit and that's why you need the neo magnets and then off she goes now it draws about uh, 20 milliamps that's the latest thanks for watching